how to twist canthal wire so first thing you're going to need is some canthal wire you're going to need a drill you're going to need pliers an allen wrench to hold your wire and a torch to oxidize the wire when you're done okay what you want to do is take a piece of canthal wire i've got 28 gauge it's about a foot in length and I am just going to fold it in half. Once you got it folded, then what you want to do is twist up the ends on one side just a little bit to get it started. Set that down, then you need to take the Allen wrench you have and put it into your drill, into the chuck. Good luck, chuck. Tighten it in there. There we go. Okay, now the fun begins. So you can take, I'm just going to twist that up. You're going to take the loop that you made on one end of your fold and hook it onto the Allen wrench. And the other side that you started your twist on, you're going to take the pliers, clamp them onto it, and hold that puppy in place. And all you need to do is keep that on there. Is start twisting. You want to keep tension on this so you don't get any kinks in it. And I'm just gonna twist it up until one end breaks. And there we have it. So now you have nice, smooth, twisted canthal wire. Now all you need to do is oxidize it and you're ready to wrap. By oxidizing it, I'm just getting the springiness out and keeping it in place. Really, you don't even need to oxidize this because it's so thick right now. You're probably not going to have a problem wrapping this on to anything. So that's it. That's all. Twisted 28 gauge canthal wire. Ready to sub-ohm.